In this video, I will explain how to calculate the herfindale hirschman Index. So let's start with a quick definition. The herfindale hirschman Index measures the degree of market concentration in an industry. So how concentrated are the sales in a particular industry? Now, the value for this index ranges from zero, which represents perfect competition, to 10,000, which would represent a monopoly. Now, the formula to calculate the herfindale hirschman Index, which we typically abbreviate as HHI, is 10,000 times the sum from i equals 1 to n of s sub i squared, where s sub i represents the market share of firm i, and n is the total number of firms. So I have two different examples of two different industries, and let's go ahead and calculate the HHI for each of these industries. So let's consider this first example right here. We have four firms, A, B, C, and D, and we can see the total sales made by each firm. Now, the total sales made by all four of these firms is 10,000. So the first thing that we need to do to calculate the HHI is we need to figure out what's the market share of each firm. So the market share is simply the total sales by a specific firm divided by the total sales in the entire industry. So for example, for firm A, their market share is going to be 2,000 divided by 10,000. And that turns out to be 0.2 or as a percentage, that's 20%. So firm A has 20% market share of this entire market. And then we can repeat that calculation for firms B, C, and D. So for firm B, we would take 2,500 and divide it by the total sales of 10,000. That turns out to be 0.25. Firm C has the exact same market share, 0.25. And firm D, their 3,000 sales divided by 10,000, that comes out to 0.3. Now what we'll notice is that the sum of all of these values adds up to one, which makes sense. So the total market share is 100%. Now the next step to calculating the HHI is to take these values, these market share values, and square them. So for example, 0.2 squared, that comes out to 0 0.04. 0 0.25 squared comes out to 0 0.0625. Here we have 0 0.0625 again. And 0.3 squared, that comes out to 0 0.09. So we calculated SI squared for each firm. Notice that the formula says we now need to take the sum of all of these S sub I squared values. So if we take the sum of all of these values, that turns out to be 0.255. And the very last step to calculate the HHI is to do 10,000 times that sum that we just got. So we'll say HHI is equal to 10,000 times 0.255, and that turns out to be 2,550. So the herfindale hirschman Index for this particular market has a value of 2,550. Now we mentioned earlier that the value for the index ranges from zero, which would represent perfect competition, to 10,000, which would represent a monopoly. So we can see that 2,550 is closer towards the perfect competition side of this index range, and that makes sense if we just look at the sales values from each firm. So we can see that the sales of each firm is roughly similar to each other, so there's not one firm that's completely dominating the market. So it makes sense that this index value is closer to zero than closer to 10,000. But now let's check out this second industry right here. So in this industry, we have four firms once again, and we can see the sales of each firm. And right away, we can see that firm H, this really jumps out because they have 8,000 of the total 10,000 sales of the market. So this firm has way more sales than all of the other firms. So let's see how that impacts our HHI calculation for this particular industry. So we'll start again by calculating the market share of each firm. So to do that, if we start with firm E, we take 500 and divide it by 10,000. That comes out to 0 0.05. Firm F has the exact same value, 0 0.05. Firm G, they'll have 1,000 divided by 10,000, which is 0.1. And lastly, firm H will have 8,000 divided by 10,000, which is 0.8. The next step is we're going to square all of these values. So here's what we get when we do that. And the last step is we're going to take the sum of all of these values. So when we do that, we get 0.655. And the very last step to calculate the HHI is we'll say 10,000 times 0.655. And that comes out to 6,550. So we can see that the herfindale hirschman Index for this particular industry has a much greater value than the first industry, which is what we expected because we saw that one of the firms has way more sales than all of the other firms. So we can see that this industry skews more towards the monopoly side. 
So those were just two quick examples of how to calculate and how to interpret the Herfindale-Hirschman index.